Oh yeah. <laughs> Boo yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up everyone Welcome to Intoxicated Opinions I didn't even notice the crown peach was over there Alright I'm sitting here drinking peach beer You can, you can add something into it <laughs> <sighs> Today We have already tried a bunch of alcohol So we feeling very good uh, In good spirits What are we talking about uh, Questions Good and bad questions to ask on the first date. On the first date. For all you single people out there, we were both single at one point, so we're going to give you some advice. Trust us. <laughs> Don't Google the advice, because when you're searching for stuff on the internet, you can get real confused. You can get a lot of conflicting information. Trust what we're going to tell you. Important questions to ask and to avoid uh, for a successful first date. So we're going to try to help you navigate through this is probably going to be good for like the teenagers, right? I mean, even though they shouldn't be watching our videos. So, it's a lot of people dating alcohol. this in 40s and 50s. They just and, may never got this information. Or, you know, it's. I mean, it's broad. I think at different ages, you start to ask different questions. <clears throat> single, oh, single in your 40s? Yeah. Mean something wrong with you? Uh, it could mean a lot of things. Divorce. Uh, so you could maintain a, a relationship. Okay. Maybe you could. Maybe the other person was at at fault, whether it be woman or man. Maybe so you couldn't um, motivate the other person to make the proper change. Let's stop blaming. Let's stop blaming people. We don't know the issue. We just know that they separated. <sighs> could it be that someone's just ugly? Maybe they gained weight. I mean, but you go to the gym, you can't fix your face. I mean, I guess you could. Maybe Michael they Jackson don't want to go to the gym. You could Michael Jackson it. Maybe they lazy. Don't want to work no more. How many first dates you been on? Can I get a number? First dates? Yes. Mm, oh, you have to think about single that. Single huh? digits. What? First dates? Yeah, single digits. One, two, three, four, about eight, nine. Three or nine? Yeah, first dates. Dates. Yeah, like going out somewhere in public. Dinner. Yeah. Nice, yeah. An activity or something like that? Around 10. 9, 10-ish. Yeah. I feel sorry for those nine or ten women. Listen. They had a lovely time. <laughs> you paid for their shit too, huh? Uh, nah, stop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I uh, mean, the, the dates didn't go bad. So you never had a bad date? No. You couldn't give an experience on that? No. Oh, okay. No. Well, when that topic comes up, I'll be able to provide <laughs> You had a bad date? Bad dates. A couple hey. bad dates, huh? You just what too are, cheap. What are, what, are, what are a couple <laughs> things that... You know, you're going on a, a first date. That means you met this person. You got their number. You've been able to set up plans. You are interested in somewhat figuring out if this is going to be a long-term kind of relationship material. I need to know the first couple questions you're going to ask. What key points are you looking for in this date to figure out if date number two is going to be on the horizon or not? So, you know, I say around, let's say 17, uh, 23, 24 I say some good questions to ask or, you know, what's your goals? What do you plan on doing? Do you plan on going to school? Do you plan on working? Uh, so you want to know the long term? Not long term. Where they but see themselves? No, just where you see yourself in the next two to three years. Okay. You know? Most likely either in college, out of college, are you a hard worker? Are you a worker? Do you provide? Do you? What if she says, well, I see myself finding a man that's going to take care of me. Okay, well, how do you? Tend on taking care of that man. I mean, there's only a couple things. <laughs> there's I only mean, a couple things that could, that, could, that could take place after that. No, it's not. It's a couple. It's not. Are you going to be motivating? Are you going to be? Are you going to be somebody who uh, adds more and takes less stress away from that man? So you can't say you're going to be a housewife and not add to it and don't know how to be a housewife. You got to bring the peace. Yeah. Mentally. You have, to, you, know how, you have to know how to be a housewife in order to be a housewife. If you stay at home, the husband shouldn't come home and have to clean and cook. and. Yeah, those things should be handled. You know, if, if he feels like, if you feel like, you know, he needs extra. So like his calendar is in disarray. Focus on, you know, setting up his schedule. Focus on, you know, making things easier for him to where he can make it easier for you. Okay. So it's a partnership. So that's that's not necessarily if someone says, hey, I see myself in a couple of years finding a man that's going to take care of me. That's not necessarily something that's going to X him out 
the dating process. No, it'd be like, how do you plan on like? They gotta have the right follow up answers. Yeah. So okay. as a man, you'd be like, you know, I see myself doing this, that, and the third, uh, working or either some way going to school, you know, working out a plan. All right, all right. Nine times out of ten, if you're like, I don't know, then that's a sign to where... It's a red flag. Yeah. Seems like, ah, uh, you just kind of floating in. He's just in limbo at, at this moment. Okay. Same way with the with the woman. She's just like, I, I'm partying, I'm going to school, I'm living my life. So it might be a red flag. It might not be somebody who you want to commit to. It might be for a fun time. All right. Question number one. Where do you see yourself in the next couple of years that's going to give you clarity on... Um, their ability to think long term, their ability to be motivated or driven or goal oriented because they have something in mind that they're going to work forward. If their answer is I don't know, that might be a red flag. Um, if I was young, when I was young, like uh, uh, you still young. Uh, I mean, well, you know, between eighteen and twenty eight. Never mind. Like, he got some gray hair coming in. I don't have no gray hair. <laughs> eighteen and twenty. Bro. No, you don't see a gray hair in my beard. <laughs> don't don't play with me. Between eighteen and like twenty eight. <laughs> Uh, a red flag for me will probably be like uh, not not speaking about family, like not wanting to have a family or not seeing yourself as wife. Oh, okay. So, so not her family, her parents, her no, brother. no, a family in the future. You right. always wanted kids, right? How many kids you want? That would be a question I'd ask. I'm asking you, how many kids do you want? I got three. <laughs> how many do you want? That's it. That's it? Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. You sure? Three is enough. Yeah. You already got snipped? No, I'm I'm done. Trust me. Trust me. We're done over here. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. Three hey, is enough. God does what he does. No. He, Regardless no, of what, what your plans stuff are. On God. Stop Regardless God. of stuff on God. You can get a condo. You can take <laughs> birth control. You can go get snipped. There's a lot of things you can do. Don't stop blaming stuff on God. I'm just saying. Virgin yeah. had a had a baby. The baby's name was Jesus. So I'm just saying. Anyway, we all talk. <laughs> so do they have a family? Long-term plans? What if the girl doesn't want kids? If she don't want kids and I want kids, that's a red flag for me. But if you both don't want kids, if I good. want kids and she doesn't want kids, that's a red flag to her. Yeah. So you know, uh, that's something that as young people, those are red flags. If you feel like you know this person doesn't have the same goals in mind, those are red flags. So as you get older, some red flags will probably be for for men. Typically, they ask, "What's your what's your history?" Like. Me personally, uh -huh. I ask. How many people have you had sex with? Yeah, okay. I ask. AKA, what is your body count? For those who don't know, what yes. body count means that means how many people you have sex with. So, and and I'm very intuitive. So I listen. Like when people talk, and I listen. Uh -huh. I'm very. I'm, I'm a person who likes to listen because, you know, if you talk about Bill here, Jet here, and Tom here, and you only said that you slept with two people, where Tom come from? So now you're lying. Yeah. So that's a red flag to me. So I, I need to move on from that situation. Right. Because you've already lied. For women, it's finances. You know, a man is poor with his finances. He spend uncontrollably. He don't know how to budget. He doesn't know how to save his money. He's not a hard worker. Those are red flags for women. Oh, quit describing me. Uh, well, she should have a, a red flag. <laughs> Wait, the left or right for you did. Okay. Is the this is later on, like after 27. Okay. You know, usually younger, you make poor decisions as far as financial. Listen, first date. Um, what is the goal of the first date? Younger, you're dating to see where things go most of the time. Okay. As you get older, you're dating for marriage, family. Okay. But I would argue that a lot of people need to start probably dating Younger for marriage. So the purpose of the first date is not to sleep with them. It can happen. It can happen. But I then mean, I also don't believe in going and spending three, four hundred dollars on a date, especially at a young age when you really don't have it. Right. It's, it's crazy. Financially irresponsible. It's financially irresponsible. Okay. So how many people you slept with? 
You probably want to get a good idea of how many people you the person you're dating is slept with. What if a girl asks a guy, can they lie? That's cool. I, yeah. I don't I don't expect nobody to lie. I expect both parties to be open. You know, I slept with a lot of people or I didn't sleep with a lot of people. Like I expect that to be open communication, but it's double standards. Women and men are totally different. <laughs> Bro. I, <laughs> Every time I, I bring because a... it, it is. It's okay. double standards in life. Like women get in the clubs free. They get drinks free. They get a lot of things free. They can go and strip and make money off of their body. Men can't really do that. So it's a lot of double standards in life. As far as body count and uh-huh. stuff, me personally, when I look at body count, I look at that as trauma. How many men have you allowed to come into your personal space and, and traumatize you? Tr- yeah, because unfortunately they're putting trauma onto you. It doesn't matter if you're 19, you're 30, you're, you're 40 years old. How many men have you allowed to traumatize you to look at men as a in a perspective of I can't trust this man or men are bad, they did me wrong or because you put up barriers. For men, you can sleep with somebody and not really mean nothing. Uh-huh. So for men, I would ask, for women, I would ask the question, how many women have you loved? Okay. Because when men love women, it's different. They tend to take on a lot of emotional But the women ain't got to love men to do that thing, you know? Stop that. They ain't got to love them. Listen, I I I haven't been sexually active enough to know (sighs) that when a woman allows you into her comfort space, Uh. she's opening herself to you. Now, there are some hoes out here who just don't care, who's been traumatized in their past, and they just have whorish ways. There are some, but majority They've of been women... they broken so much they can't be broken. But majority they of... More. And if they have, that's not a good relationship partner because you're trying to fix something that can't be fixed unless they want to fix it or they go get help to fix it. So a red flag for you is sleeping with too many men. Yes. Do you like to party? Listen, man. Do you like to go out to the clubs? One of my top three rappers had a song called Prostitute Flame, right? I wouldn't care if you was a prostitute and you fucked every man that you ever knew. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't mean a thing as long as that was way before me and you. You know who said that? Mm -hmm. A little wheezy, of course, yeah. Uh, I I wouldn't call him a great rapper. What? You know, everybody has a musical preference. Top three. In my opinion, anyway. yeah, yeah, everybody has an opinion. I mean, it's pretty expert. Everybody has an opinion. Why he didn't I mean, marry uh, none of them girls? Trina, he's talking about Trina. Why he didn't marry? He had Stefan. Uh, he had Superhead too. He didn't marry her neither. I don't know. Mm. He liked to keep his eyes. Shut. I bet. I'm just saying, you can't Most judge. Of, a, you can't listen. hold the person's past against them forever. Yes, you can. No, they can do steps to improve that. Trauma, as you call it. That's fine. They can make those steps, and I can also sit here and say that (laughs) I don't want to go through those steps with you, or I don't feel like I'm inclined to to be punished based off of the mistakes that you made in the past. But in 2022, you have to be open to accepting everyone and not say that. No, because if a man makes financially irresponsible decisions his whole life, and a woman is like, I don't want a man who's broke or who's fat or who's lazy, that's okay. Well, they could be fat and lazy if they're rich, though. They can. But you if they're fat and lazy and they broke, what? That's not good, yeah. So, one, we're going to figure out how many people the person has slept with. For me. For me. I mean, I, I, it's probably a good thing. For for majority of men, they Anyone, also right? often think like that. Or majority of women. Ask your dude, what if he's only slept with two people? You probably... Might want to stay away from him because he's like, oh, you're my third. And he's going to fall in love. He's going to be like a stage five clinger, right? He doesn't have that much experience, so it's going to be kind of awkward maybe. If he has two, it depends on what age. If he's like 16, had two, 18, had two, okay. If he's like 38 and only had two and not been married. It might be a problem, right? He's probably not attractive to other women. He could be Jeffrey Dahmer. I don't know. Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeff- Jeffrey Dahmer. He was out here. <laughs> can't say Jeffrey Dahmer was out here, but that's promoting that's something negative. But on true. a positive note, like usually nine times out of ten, if it's a man and he's desirable to women, he has a higher body count because mm-hmm. most women want him. Right. That's just that's facts. He's either tall, handsome, or financially stable. Do okay. We got we got 
the first question, where do you see yourself in the next couple of years? The second question, where's your body count? Let's keep going, man. Maybe a question I think I would have. Uh, of course, the third question, where do you see yourself family-wise? Do you want kids? Do you not want kids? That's going to be important. I'm going to think a question I have is how do you deal with, what's your outlook on life? Are you optimistic, pessimistic? Do you not care? If a stressful situation comes out of nowhere, you're going to cry? You're going to break shit? You're going to try to punch me? Or are you going to be able to deal with it, internalize it? I uh, think that just depends on the person. Some people like to take in, take in people who are, like to take in stray cats. So like to take in people who's damaged, who's been hurt. Some people like that. It's a weird. They uh, feel like I they're, talking about. they're doing something for society. They're being humanitarian. It's like those memes we used to talk about girls that want to be the 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 mom to kids that the, the, uh, to other adult men that can't get their life right. Right. Personality based questions. Figure out what personality is going to suit you or compliment you. I would say is a good one because if um, I'm violent and she's violent, then we both can get fucked up. <laughs> one one of us got to be calm. You know what I'm, I'm just saying, yeah, you need to find. The, the, but the you asked on the first day, who says this on the first day? Like I'm violent. People might say I'm crazy. I'd be like, how are you crazy? Like, what makes you crazy? I mean, you don't have to say it like that, but like, man, if she's like, how was your day? Well, there's a lot happening at work, kind of stressful. How do you deal with stress? That's a pretty that's okay. A, so that's the question. Yeah. How do you deal with stress? Yeah, and if she's yeah. like, well, fuck, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab whoever caught. You know, there there's certain red flags in her response. You could see. Okay, you could look in her eyes and see if she's crazy or not. That's a good one. Why is there a um? A labeling that hot girls are crazy. No, I don't think they're crazy. Is it because they're hot? They have a high body count. So they have a high trauma level. Maybe. I'm yeah. just connecting to hey. what you said to that could be. what was on my mind. That could be. I feel like another question would probably be like, uh, do you like to go out? Some people don't like to go out. You mean socially? Yeah. Uh, what's your religion? Are you religious? Would it bother you if their religion is not yours? Yeah, it should. It should? Yeah. If, if you're Muslim and I'm uh, Christian or atheist, then we conflict. How mm. do we bring our families together? How do we run the household? Like, those are conflicting issues. So you have to find some commonality in that. Uh, politics is another one. Oh, politics is a good yeah. one, huh? Like, do you vote based off of emotion or do you vote, vote based off of, of the things that you are looking for and as far as to help you and your family or yourself. Or maybe the person is already has already been indoctrinated to go left or right. Right. They could what. be like, I'm strongly left. I'm strongly right. Uh I don't see they can feel that way and that might not be something that you look into. Like me personally, I'm 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 in the middle. I'm for whatever yeah, she independent. Is. When you're on a first date and um, you guys are playing the questions game, going back and forth, just trying to discover each other. If the other person answers a question uh, one way, then you tell your opinion, and then they change their original answer to kind of match up. You know what I'm saying? Is that a red flag, or is that a sign of, hey, I'm going to submit to your leadership? It's a red flag. So for a man, it might be, you know, I want to smash, so I got to watch what I say. Uh, okay, she feels this way. Let me let me switch. For right. a woman, it might be like he meets and checks all the boxes. I want to be secure. So each other tend to tend to flip and switch roles, right? Uh -huh. So you have to look for it. Those are also red flags, or those are also things to look for. Ladies, if, if a man is sitting there on a date and he's telling you, like, everything that you want to hear, you're beautiful. Could be love. You're cute. No, you're cute. You're beautiful. <laughs> With no pushback on anything. Nine times out of ten, he just want to smash. Nine times out of ten, he's he's looking to propel that date to something else sexually. A lot of times, a man who really genuinely likes your character will be honest with you. Maybe something doesn't right rub him the right way. He he wants to have a discussion about it. Yeah. Oh, why you why you feel that way? Because I feel this way. You know, it's how he. How he comes off as. Eventually, there will be conflicting things. 
Opin- yeah. yeah. Opinions, stances. That don't mean there has to be an argument or a fight, but it, it could should be, uh, be addressed or talked about or, hey. A point of discussion. So, you know, because for me, it's like, okay, she's a thinker. She she likes to logically think. She's not just going to follow behind every word that I say because maybe I'm not making the right decision. Maybe she can sit there and say, babe, maybe we should do this instead of doing that because this leads to that. And I'll be like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Can your ego... I don't want you to just follow behind me. Bro, can your ego allow you to be corrected by a woman? Yes. Okay. Hey, I'm just asking, man. There was just a history of things that led me to I like to to have dialogue. I I love to have dialogue. And you can say, okay, I'm wrong. Yes. You can admit being wrong. I can. Yeah. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Because I ain't heard you admit being wrong. I can apologize, too. In about two years. Bro, stop lying. You capping. You capping. You're capping. I said Are you 13? I, I said I, Yeah. I said I was wrong when I said I voted for Biden based off of a motion. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 so yeah. stop saying okay. that I don't one say thing, I'm wrong. One thing. Listen, okay. I say I'm wrong a lot of the times. 